So today we're going to uh, find the distance, midpoint, and the equation of a circle given two points. So um, we're going to consider a line segment between the two points and we're going to find the distance of that line segment, the midpoint of that line segment, and then we're going to uh, find the equation of a circle using the first point as the center of the circle and the second point as a point on the uh, actual circle. So this uh, exercise is basically just testing your ability to, to use formulas. It's nothing more than that. So uh, here are our two points, negative 4, 3, and 2, negative 6. Here is our distance formula, which is basically just derived from the uh, Pythagorean theorem. I'll talk a little bit more about that when uh, we actually look at the graph. Uh, uh, our x1, y1 is going to be negative 4, 3, and our x2, y2 is going to be 2, negative 6. So we're just going to plug in those values here. We have to remember that uh, the minus signs are built into the formula, and we have to uh, go ahead and put another minus sign if our point or our coordinate is also negative to make sure that we... Uh, get the correct answer. So uh, here we've got 2 minus negative 4 which is 6. Negative uh, 6 minus 3 is negative 9. We square them we get 36 plus 81 which is uh, 117. Inside of our square root uh, we would simplify that number to uh, 3 squared of 13 uh, because 117 has a factor of 9 in it which is a perfect square so we would pull a 3 outside of the square root uh, when we simplify. Uh, you can tell a number is divisible by 9 if its digits add up to 9, so uh, we would go ahead and make that uh, simplification if we need to. Uh, here is our formula for the midpoint of the line segment. Uh, this is basically just derived from uh, the taking the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates, and that'll give us uh, the midpoint. So plugging in our uh, values, we get uh, negative 2 over 2, th negative 3 over 2 when we simplify. Uh, when we've got a negative sign inside of a fraction, we just move it out to the front or simplify in case of this one. So our midpoint looks like the point negative 1, negative 3 halves. And finally, here is the formula for the equation of a circle with center hk and radius r. So uh, in this case, our center is the first point, which was negative 4, 3. Uh, r is the distance between the two points because uh, when we think of a circle, uh, our line segment is now going to be a radius of that circle because the first point is the center and the uh, second point lies on the circle. So uh, our r is going to be the square root of 117, but for this formula we actually need r squared, and we know what r squared is, that's just 117. So when we plug everything in, this is going to be the equation of our circle. Uh, again, we have to figure for the minus that are built into the formula and the minus from the coordinates. So uh, here is the equation of our circle. x plus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 117. And the way we check our work again is to graph everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. OK, so here are my two points, and here is my line segment. Um, I just googled drawing a line segment on Desmos and it's actually you get a template for doing it. It's very easy to use so um, I would suggest doing that. Uh, we can see from this graph that if we draw a triangle, uh, a right triangle just on the grid marks, that's how we get our uh, uh, distance formula. So this side is one of the legs of the right triangle, this side is one of the legs of the right triangle, and the distance of or the length of these sides of the triangle would be uh, just the dis difference in the x-coordinates, this one would be the difference in the y-coordinates, and uh, that's how we uh, find the distance formula. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and plot my uh, my uh, midpoint and hopefully it's uh, the midpoint of that uh, line segment and it's on the line. If not, I made a mistake. And it looks like that's good. That's right uh, in the middle of the line segment. And now I'm going to uh, 
plot the uh, equation of my circle. I'm hoping that this is the center of the circle and this is some point on the circle. Uh, if not, that means I made a mistake somewhere, but uh, this is the correct circle. So that's clearly the center. That point is clearly on the circle. If you made a mistake somewhere, your uh, line segment would be off and it uh, maybe wouldn't be the center and, and this point wouldn't be on the circle. So uh, if everything lines up, then you got the uh, the right idea. That's all for today.